Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make your own candles. Um, this is one that I made recently. I put a sticker on it, but it's lavender and I made this all by myself. So I'm just going to go through some of the tools that you're going to need to um, make your own candle. So first you're going to need a mason jar. I picked a huge one because I want to make a huge candle. But you can also put them in little tiny ones. Um, it saves wax. Um, then you're going to need candle wicks, which you can get on Amazon or pretty much any craft store. Um, these ones I got on Amazon, but I also got some from Michael's craft store. Then you're going to need wax. I have wax in here. I also have more wax right here. <laughs> so I'm going to be making a lot of candles. Um, then you're going to need um, some kind of jar like this to pour the wax into the mason jar. Um, so make sure you have like some kind of pourer. Otherwise, if it's just from a bowl, it gets like all stained on the side. And then finally, um, essential oils. Um, I have quite a few in here. As you can see, I have like this and then I have more down here and the essential oils are what make the candle smell nice unless you want a candle that doesn't smell like anything um then you would just not use essential oils and then i have a couple extra goodies that i'll show at the end that are optional so first you're gonna fill your jar with the wax um and then the wax goes in the microwave so i'm just gonna use the rest of all this and then i have a little bit more down here grab a big pile that I'm gonna put in here to fill my big huge candle. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for one minute and 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go do that right now. So while that's heating, I'm gonna pick my essential oil that I'm gonna use. Um, I think today I'm gonna make a lemon scented candle because I love the scent of lemon. And they say it's really good for your like sinuses. So here's my little lemon essential oil. I'm just gonna add a few drops of that, which I'll show you in a so second. So now my wax is nice and hot and it, you just wanna make sure it's completely melted so it looks like liquid. And I like my candles to smell really, really good um, and really strong. So I'm gonna add like maybe four or five drops of this, but if you just like a subtle scent, just add like, I don't know, maybe two. Okay. Smells like lemon. So then you want to let it cool off for a few minutes. You can if you want. I usually just pour it right in, but some people like to let it cool off for a few minutes. So that's up to you. Um, I'm not going to fill this whole jar in one time, so it's going to take me a few times. Um, but let's start now. So as you can see, I'm not even halfway. So I'm going to have to do this a few more times. But in the meantime, I'm going to put the wick in. So you want to put the wick in while the uh, wax is still melted because otherwise you won't get it in. Um, the thing about the wick is that it tends to fall over. So I recommend getting like anything. Like my mom uses chopsticks, but you can, if you don't have chopsticks, I just will, you could use like two books to keep the wick in the center of the candle so that it doesn't um, lean to the side and then the candle's ruined. So you wanna make sure that the wick stays nice and um, sturdy in the middle. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear my cat crying in the background. Every time I'm in the kitchen, he thinks I'm gonna give him food. So he's very um, whiny right now so sorry about that so my candles getting full and um it's not all the way full i have to fill it a little more but i told you guys i was going to do a little surprise so i'm going to put a little glitter in it and then spin that all around and you can also put these gemstones because they're supposed to send like good vibes or whatever and um like sprinkle them on the top and it looks really really cute i just think it's a nice extra touch so now my candle is full and ready to go. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit before I put the wick back in because sometimes the wick burns off if it's too hot. And you really wanna clean out your jar right away 
with um, something to scrub it with because the candle wax will stain the jar. So just FYI. So now I'm sprinkling in a little bit of my green Aventurine um, semi-precious stones just for a little extra touch and a little good luck. So after about four hours or so, you might want to leave it overnight. My candle is done. You can see on top the crystals and the glitter and they're all going to be throughout the candle as it melts. So now I just cut the wick. I can cut it got it and here it is and then I always save the cap to make it a nice gift for someone and in the future I'll be posting videos on how you can actually label the jar and other fun things you can do with the candle and just think this candle at Yankee Candle would have probably been $25 and I think I spent less than a dollar on it so yay for making candles